Looks like we have an indefinite integral. Let's go ahead and try it. It looks like u substitution is a good first try. So the obvious choice for u is this piece right here. So u is equal to 1 over x. And since we have to compute du, let's go ahead and rewrite this. Remember, this is 1 over x to the first power, so we can write it as x to the negative 1. Now we can differentiate. So du is equal to, here we'll use the power rule. So you bring the negative 1 down, so you get negative x to the negative 2 dx. We can rewrite this as du equals negative 1 over x squared dx. The only problem we have so far is that we don't have a negative sign here in the integrand. So let's get rid of this negative sign. We can either multiply or divide by negative 1. When we do that, we get negative du equals 1 over x squared dx. And now everything matches nicely. 1 over x squared dx, that's what we have here, and that's equal to negative du. And then this piece here, this is our u. So let's go ahead and rewrite our original integral. The negative, we can pull it outside, so we have negative and then the integral of sine u du. Right, because all of this in the yellow circles is du. And this piece here is u, or rather negative du. So you just took the negative outside and that's it. So we can ask ourselves, what's a function whose derivative is sine? Well, negative cosine. But here we already have a negative, so we'll get negative, negative cosine u plus c. Negative and negative is positive, and we know that u is 1 over x. So this is cosine of 1 over x plus our constant c. And that is the final answer. I hope this helps.